What's up Starlight Aquatics? Today we are going to be going over the Mirmo Moss Ball. It is a <clears throat> organism of uh, basically from what I've gathered it's a uh, it's a type of algae but uh, it's fluffy, furry, kind of feels like a teddy bear. Um, you squeeze them out every uh, week or so and then they go down into the bottom where they rest and uh, I got four of them I got two over there Some dragon goby in there but uh what they do get a real good up close shot of this now what it does is it pulls all the nitrates the nitrites that um, ammonia all the nasty stuff out of your tank uh, basically <clears throat> dubbing it to be uh, nothing you know what I mean so ba so basically when I first got these I had little traces you know and I always test my water and, and whatnot I put these bad boys in and uh Man, it made a world of difference. And that was only with the first two, actually. Which, the original two are right there. I got these today. And, uh, what can I say? You know, I might actually get a couple more of these and drop them in. Um, these things are wonderful, guys. You always see these in the little beta cups. You know, when you go to buy the, uh, the, the beta cup, uh, you know, might go get yourself a crown tail or something like that, or uh, you know, a female uh, pretty beta, or, you know, pretty uh, what do they call it? The uh, pretty boy blue beta or something like that. Uh, I had a crown tail, is the only one that I had <clears throat> ever, and uh, I had him for a while, and uh, his name was King, and, you know, and uh, he passed on, and uh. I, I just haven't got a beta since. I had him in a little 10 gallon and uh, he had filtration and everything. He was the king, you know. But anyway, uh, back to the Miramon Moss Balls. Uh, not only will you find them in the beta cups, uh, if you do end up going to get one of those fish, then uh, if they have one of those in it, that's a little perk because you know what? It comes in handy. Pull out the ammonia, the nitrates, the nitrites. Make your water crystal clear. Also, with uh, my little invention up there that I made, I will be showing you how to make one of those so you can hook it up to a power head. Uh, this is the Imaginarium Aquarium. Um, this is, what did it say? 5.08 feet it can you know it can spread and it does 303 gallons per hour but uh you put a little substrate and um it's really easy to make actually but if you guys would like I'd, i'll show you how to how to make one of these it basically involves a soda bottle a little bit of substrate and a aquarium sponge a little bit of net for protection and rubber band i use a hair tie to uh, kind of grip it up there, I wrap it around the bottom of the, the bottle, and then I go up and over that lip. lip. That way, it uh, extra protection makes sure it's super tight. But anyway, um, you know, the more filtration, the more uh, the better, because you can never uh, you can never have too much. Um, not only do I rate as of now run two hang on the back filters. But I have that, you know, running the, you know, the, the substrate, kind of like an in aquarium sump, if you will. And uh, that's constantly, you know, cleaning. I take that off every once in a while. I'll rinse the, the biomedia and then I'll squeeze out the sponge, clean that out, put it all back together and bang. My tank stays crystal clear because of that little invention that I put together and uh, I hope to hear if you guys put one together and you uh, 
you know, let me know how it worked for you because uh, I'm telling you, man, it does wonders. But uh, these Miramu Moss Balls, definitely a plus in my book. You can get them for like under 10 bucks. It's like $9.99 or something like that. It's like 10, 10 plus, you know, tax or whatever. It's not that much. But uh, if you can get uh, the large ones, they're, uh, they're like 10 bucks. If you get the small ones, some places sell the small ones, and they're a little bit cheaper. They're like five bucks. But uh, go ahead and grab the big ones if you want. You can also with these <clears throat> because it is a uh, living. Well, it's a organism. It uh, it doesn't require food, and it can be. Uh, you can take it, and in the middle basically tear it into two pieces make complete spherical balls with it and throw it in so now you took and made one miramo moss ball into two and they will continue to grow five millimeters a year and they will grow up to from what i have gathered 12 inches that's freaking huge guys imagine if you had even three 12 inch Miramo moss balls you would pretty much have to sit back a little bit more and uh would sure take a lot of trouble out of uh maintaining the tank but uh yeah guys anyway uh if you like this little bit of information and uh you want to see more videos like it, uh, go over a little bit. Everything that I own <clears throat> in this tank, everything that I use, everything that, I, uh, that I've that i tried, I'll uh, make videos to give you my honest review. Uh, if I use it, um, then obviously it, it's something that, that really works. And if it works for me, it can work for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe guys hit that like button and once again, I'll see you next time from starlight aquatics. See you later guys